guys, welcome to the farm. Today I just wanted to say hello and check in, do a little bit of a vlog style today. Um, I'm out here taking care of the cows. We are about six weeks old. This is Penny here in the background and right next to her, the boy who's a solid brown, <coughs> or I guess you would say red. Um, he is a boy, he's a bull calf. Um, they're Montbilliard Holstein mixes from what I've been told. They were Montbilliard. Uh, the girl, she has a little bit of a Jersey look to her face, but she came from an Amish dairy, an assortment of Amish dairies. And um, so who knows what they had. I believe they, a lot of dairies around here, they crossbreed um, several different dairy cows to get a better crossbreed from my understanding. So she could have several things in her, but I was told predominantly it was Montbilliard, which is a French cheese making cow. It's supposed to be slightly creamier than Holstein but she still has Holstein in her so so we'll see how it goes in a year and a half I just ordered a test um, earlier this week from a lab to have her milk panel and a couple other um, tests done on her through DNA that will be um, collected via hair samples out of her tail I'll have to collect at least like 25 30 hairs and then tape them to this piece of paper and mail it off it was about forty dollars but it was a lot more than just the milk panel i believe the milk panel is like 15 to 20 dollars but this was like some disease screening as well as sire sire check or sire search which i think can help find who their sour was if they used AI. I just thought it'd be interesting to just pay the extra money and find out the rest about her. I did not do the test on the boy because he will be beef next next summer. Well, yeah, that's about 18 months, about 18 months. Um, so today, uh, they're right around six weeks old, so we're looking into to start weaning them. And uh, they're getting big. Here, I'll show this you the barn. barn. It is an old corn crib barn, so um, we have it boarded up here just to keep any kind of coyotes. Now, I know this isn't perfectly coyote proof, but they are still young, so I don't want anything walking in the barn that doesn't need to be. So it's a, you know, a normal, you know, piece of plywood, but it, it keeps it in. Um, so I let them out. They do not normally play in this area. Right now, I'm letting them out just to play. Um, they get really excited, and he rubs his head on the straw, and... He likes to jump up there and play, so I just let them while I'm cleaning out their stalls. Um, this is a temporary tall stall setup over here. Uh, eventually, it should be two stalls, um, so the and and or con convertible to one stall. Sorry, he, he totally just scared me. Oh, yep, don't do that. You're getting crazy there, buddy. His name is Hamburger, if I haven't told you that. Try not to get too attached because out of everybody, his his personality is my favorite. <clears throat> Anyways, um, the dogs, the puppies are having fun and the cows don't seem to mind. The dogs lick their face. But anyway, so this stall will be convertible between two pins and one. So it'll be one if we have a cow-calf situation and it will be two stalls if I ever need to, you know, stall an animal for a short period of time or for treatment or for whatever else two new calves in the future um so i'm about ready to clean out their stalls but it's been working out well because i can keep a deep bed of straw on this side and they like to sit with their up front ends angled up as from what i've been told so i've been kind of piling it at an angle and then this side is where they do their heated bucket and their two buckets of grain now I have like a corn grain mixture that I got from a local, you know, family owned uh, feed store. Um, it's got cracked corn in it and some other stuff. They don't seem to like this one as much, but I was told that grain is more palatable to them when they first, you know, start eating. I also have a Purina calf starter, which I think has more like alfalfa mix in it. Um, anyways, they prefer that one. They will eat that one long before they eat the other stuff. So this one is their favorite. It's greener. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's pretty green. And then I also got some, oh, I can't seem to find it, but just a, you know, whole oats that I mix in a little bit just to give them some variety. And I have some free alfalfa available if they want it, <clears throat> like a hay mixture. Um, or, you, you know, you want to start weaning them. When they can finish one of these every feeding 
um, several pounds, like three pounds per feeding, so twice a day. They're six weeks old, so we're not at that point. They'll probably get two bottles a day for a while longer, and then we will move into just a bottle in the afternoon. Um, but this way, all their food is in one section of the barn, and they do all of their, you know, pooping and urinating, for the most part, on this side. So I only have to really change this one, and then this one's kind of like a litter. I can pick stuff out of it. Um, <clears throat> then I have the rest of the barn, which eventually we will put dairy beds in here. Hi, sweetie. Um, I want to do free stalls, I think is what they're called, where they can lay in them, but they have to go face first, and so that way they can't defecate in their bed, and it keeps them clean. And that's important for a milk cow because she's going to be milked, and you don't want her to stay clean. You want her teats to stay clean, which... Um, another reason why I bottled instead of bucket, bucket fed these two is because I want them to be very handled. I want them to be used to human contact and for them to like to be petted and touched. Now, she doesn't like it on top of her head very much, but both of them, if you get them rubbing, they love it. So, yeah, Penny, isn't it? And Cooper. Cooper likes loving too. Anyways, I just wanted to get you guys... Let you guys see how they're doing. She is, uh, she's getting quite a bit of weight, but she's not heavy. Whereas he, he's got some more beef-like qualities to him. He's gotten quite big. Um, I'm eager, don't, don't eat that. Um, I'm eager to see how he grows up and what he'll end up looking like. Come on, this way. Yeah, I love his sweet little red face. And yeah, isn't right hamburger. Oh, you like that. Anyways, say hello. Annie made a mess Anyways, for me. To pick up where we left off. Um, I have all this hay piled up here so that they, it's mostly straw and then a little bit of hay for when they're ready. They, they don't seem very interested in the hay yet. But this is mostly a windbreak. Um, the corn crib is very ventilated, as you can see. And we have been deciding on whether or not we wanted to fully side the barn so that it isn't as ventilated. Because the upstairs is very ventilated, so you don't have to worry too, too, too much. But I, I do want, I think, to side part of it just to help with the windbreak. Because we can always leave the door open. We have to build some kind of door for this opening. Because this door was destroyed. This one doesn't so slide very good. So that one's going to be kind of permanent. Hey guys, um, um, <clears throat> sorry we ended that video so abruptly. But uh, I just got sidetracked with the kids. And it just... the. Closing the video doesn't happen very well, but I appreciate you guys following us. Um, you know, I will be posting a video the following tomorrow, hopefully today, maybe the end of the day, um, talking about our New Year's resolution and what we want to do here on the farm and the purpose of the cows, as well as information about whether or not our cow female, the penny, whether or not penny is a free martin. Now, I was told, reassured, by the people we bought them from that she was not a free martin but i'm starting to have questions about whether or not she could be i mean she came from a dairy and um i know it's off season but why would a dairy get rid of a heifer if she was breedable so i don't know she it's very hard there's lots of information online you can look up about whether or not you know determining whether or not somebody is a free or your cow is a free martin but I just, I want to know in my head for sure that she's not before we invest 12 to 18 months in her and find out I can't breed her. So I will be posting a video more about that. So we'll see you next time. Thanks.